Hey guys, I am in Maui and I'm just going to do a quick little video and um, my daughter might help me if I do some painting. So this is the view off our deck. Hello, how awesome is that? Oh, and there's Piper. Um, so I'm actually, we're leaving tomorrow and then I'll be home on Thursday or Wednesday. I don't know. Anyways, so let me just switch this around and I'll show you kind of a few things here. Okay, so I have this little setup that I got from Michael's. It's like this art thing and I got it for 50% off. So you can fit tons in here. And I just have, um, this is a Jane Davenport little case I bought, I don't know when. Um, and it just has, oh, it has my sketching stuff in it and just the eraser. I haven't even used any of that yet. I haven't done a whole lot of painting. Um, I have my full watercolor palette here and I have my gouache here. I bring more than what I need, obviously, you know me. Obviously, I'm gonna bring more than what I need. And then I just have um, some more in here, some little brushes here that I like to use. And then in here, this is what I bring on the plane. Um, my daughter's gonna cough here. And uh, this is, I like this, and I could have probably just brought this little thing here. And I do put more in, right now there's not a whole lot in there, but. So this is my, um, my oh, it got a little bit messed up. So these have magnets on the bottom, but clearly the magnets need some work. Um, and this is uh, Jane Davenport Brights and Neutrals mixed with um, Prima uh, Neutrals and Pastels. So I'm just going to straighten this out here a little bit. We've got kind of a mess here. They're kind of all over the place now. I'll have to organize them a little better here because I don't know where they, they all fit in here somehow but they're all disorganized right now this one goes here here I'll let you see the view rather than me trying to I'm gonna be going down to the pool and as soon as I'm done this video but I really wanted to do something here just really quick because um, I know I, I don't know what time it is for you guys and then also what I have in here, so this actually fits lots of stuff on top here. And I have a Jane Davenport water brush. And then I have this little squeeze bottle here um, of water that I can just add to this if I need to, like on the plane or whatever. Um, and then what I wanted to show you mostly was this here. So I've got some more brushes down here, but um, I'm going to show you uh, this Jane Davenport water brush because I haven't had a chance to use this yet. So that's what we're going to look at right now. Piper, can you find the thing that goes inside of that and put it in there please so it doesn't get wrecked? It's just in here somewhere. And can you fix this please? All right, so one thing that I just bought was um, this thing, because I love flowers, as you know. And this is a pocket guide to all these Hawaiian flowers. So I'm going to study these and just, um, you know, we'll see what we can paint from these. I'm not going to do too much right now. Um, but I want to show you what you can do. So Piper, here, I'm just gonna set this up right here. Piper, did you find, no, 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 this one. So another thing that I do, oh, hi, Jennifer, you're in Kihei? Ki, That's how you say it, Kihei. Um, so another travel So this is another travel watercolor brush I have right here. And um, this works good too. Um, but I like this one because you can just kind of pull it up and it 
and it's a really good tip for something. So this is a little palette, like you can use acrylic, but it also works really good for watercolor if you want to mix up some colors. And I'm just going to take this little bit out right here. I don't really need a palette. I'm just going to do it right on the paper. And Piper, I'm going to need you to hold this while I do this, please. So can you just do it that way? Yeah. So just make sure you can see all this stuff. Not super close, but close enough. So this is my little book I have, and I have some clips here. Um, and I just can put this on if I need to. I don't really need to right now. But. Um, so this here is just a really handy, this is the Jane Davenport Travel Water Brush. And I am just going to um, spray, oh I have a little mini spritzer here too that I use. And it's right here. So I'm just gonna, so this just has some water. I'm just going to spray this. I don't have a cup of water with me right now. I could, but I didn't do that. And actually, Pepper's going to go get me a little cup of water while I do this. All right. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Um, the ocean is just little noisy but I love it I love hearing the ocean as I sleep because as you know I live in Canada northern Canada and there's not the ocean anywhere near us so this I'm gonna do a little bit of my daughter's yelling at me it doesn't matter just any kind of water cup will be fine Piper so this look at this little tip it's just perfect look at that isn't that awesome I need some water. Piper needs to get out here with some water. So we'll just do a little bit of, um, well, that, a shallow one would be good, but this one's, oh, were they? Okay, so I got some water now. I need some more water here. Make that more watery. Um, I'm not sure exactly what colors I have here. Oh, this one was rose and this one was lilac rain. So the pastel, from um, from Prima is awesome. Piper, can you do this now? Don't put it upside down. Did I? Um, I can take everything on my carry-on bags. Um, like this, this, I have water, and then I have my little spritzer that I just had out here. Where's that little spritzer? Um, right here. Nope. I don't know where my little spritzer went. But I can take that on, and uh, can you just read out the questions when they ask them? Mm -hmm. And then, here, yeah, this little spritzer right here. And that's really all, you know, like I could fit everything in here that I needed, and I could take it on my carry-on. And I always take more than what I need. Um, but yeah, I, this would totally work on my carry-on. And I just pack a little bit, you could do some paper towel if you want, or a little sponge, but I just use this and it just uh, works really well. So I am just kind of doing a little bit of a, maybe a lily pad here. I need to kind of come up here a little bit. And um, let's take this bumblebee and we'll just put a little bit up in here. And yeah, make sure it's not upside down. But like, look at this, gives you such a perfect little tip. And while we're at it, I think I might add some color for the water around here. And I could just, so this one is icy, <coughs> icy sky. So this, this one isn't super watery, so I could use like this one, which gives me more water. I want it and let's put a little bit of uh, this lemonade in there this lemonade from Prima is awesome and I just want to move this color a little bit because it, it is in the water it's like a lily pad right so I want to just put that in there put a little bit of this purple in here uh, let's see Ooh, I like this um, eyeshadow from Jane Davenport that's super 
intense. Oh, I love that. And then um, we could do maybe some green here for the little lily pad. My daughter's just hiccuping on that. Okay, Piper, seriously. I can't. We'll just kind of bring this around. Oh dear, she's really hip hiccuping here. Isn't that awesome, you guys? She's just got that. And then let's move this around. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't stop. Is there any, any other questions or comments? Nope. And we could just put like a subtle kind of lily pad in there. Oh my goodness. And then let's bring some of this up top around the back here. And we can do some and more interesting colors. My daughter thinks that her whispering is not being heard by other people. <laughs> this is just a very, very quick, simple lily pad demonstration. And we could just move this around. No one wants to hear you chewing your chewy sweet darts on the camera. No one wants to hear that. I'm pretty sure, especially with your hiccuping as well. <gasps> oh, look at that turquoise. So this color is um, mermaid from Jane Davenport, obviously, because it's called mermaid. So of course it's gonna be, oh, look at that. <gasps> That's awesome. I'm just gonna bring some wet up here. So I'm mostly using the Jane Davenport travel brush. And uh, I used this travel brush, the Escoda, one just to get a little bit more water in there but you don't you wouldn't have to use that you could just spritz it too and that would help move it around as well but these colors all move quite well i really like them and i'm just going to bring a little bit of this uh, sea sea dreams um i think this one is from i don't know if this one's from prima or jane davenport this sea dreams but look at those colors. Oh, I love them. And then we could add a little bit of green up there and that's just a kind of subtle. And if we wanted to do just a subtle, Piper, can you p please look where you're going, please? If you look away from the camera, then, then you all of a sudden put the camera off of where I am and you don't know it. So you need to pay attention to what you're filming. So I'm just gonna put like a quick subtle lily pad down here and it's just gonna wash, bleed out, bleed out. That sounds bad. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> but it's just a very subtle lily pad in there. Do they have yellow centers? I don't even know. These yellows, Bumblebee and Buzzy from Jane Davenport are amazing. I'm not sure which one of these, I think one of these, this is Bumblebee, Buzzy, Mango and Citrus and they're awesome. And that's just a little subtle, and you could go back in after um, and just kind of refine this a little bit. And you could kind of bring this in front so that there's more petals kind of coming in front here, just so it looks like layers. Piper, can you please watch what you're filming? Piper is not uh, doing, her job. She's not paying attention. And so you could do that and then that way, so what you wait till it's dry and then it layers um, and then you can do some more layers and you could like bring some more petals up, up in the front here and some more in the back, but you would want to wait till that dries a little bit. Otherwise it'll bleed out as I say. We could put a few different, I don't think there's orange in there, but just to add a little bit. And then see this is drying and you could, you know, go back in there and just make some more subtle petals. But it's nice to do it when it's wet, just to get that, that really loose, that looseness in there. And then, you know, go in and add just a little bit more details and with a little bit darker, like that purple there. And we could add some in the back. Anyways. So there's a quick little thing. Is there any 
Piper, are you paying attention to the comments? You're supposed to be asking. You're supposed to be. There was one, but I couldn't read it. It just like because it fades away, and I couldn't read it. Yeah, because you weren't long. looking when you're no, supposed to be looking. No, it was too long. Man. She's busy looking at my sister down at the pool. Yeah, because she's trying to talk to me. Well, but she's gonna have to wait because we're doing a video. Okay, so let's just turn this around, and so hopefully that told you something and I'm about to go down there to the pool and my sister is waving sending me um, she's saving some towels she's still trying to talk to us she can't get it through her head that we're not available to talk anyways I'm gonna go and I'll oh one thing I wanted to tell you guys about sorry I gotta say this quick go join my Facebook group uh, Janelle Nickel online tutorials. It's not my Facebook page. There is my Facebook page. <laughs> I'm like waving my daughter. Get out of here. Um, and it's it's made specifically for my YouTube subscribers uh, to to um, to kind of communicate with them a little better. And uh, because I don't always want to just put a video like this kind of thing, I would put on my Facebook Live, and then it won't necessarily have to be a YouTube video. Although you know I can always add it on there or whatever. Um, but I'm trying to get more people on there and hi all about art and I'm trying to get some more people on there and there's just like I don't know six nine I don't know and so you guys if you guys follow me on YouTube go follow me on my on the group and it's um, it's just a way to like get questions and you guys can post things that you've tried um, post questions to me a little bit easier than on the comments on um, YouTube but I still do read through the comments but sometimes I miss them so you can follow the group and it's Janelle Nickel online art tutorials I think it is so that's different than my Facebook page um, my Facebook page doesn't show a lot of anything really um, because I have to pay to get it noticed by anyone so I'm gonna go and I will see you guys when I am back up in cold Canada Oh, look at that view. It's awesome. Okay, bye.